Okay. All okay, right. I'm coming so, close. Close your eyes, guys. Okay. While I move into position. I know she's here. moving into okay. position. Okay. I just don't want everybody to get seasick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the directions that she has are for a, an 18 inch pillow. So what she has you do first is for the pillow back, you're gonna cut the top part six and a half inches by 18 and a half, 18 and a half. And then the bottom part of the pillow, you're cutting 12 and a half inches by 18 and a half. The ratio is the top part, if you're making a different size pillow, the top part is about a third of the overall pill pillow lengths, okay? So just as a for instance. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your 22 inch zipper and you're going to lay it down, right side down on top of the larger piece. You're going to just match your little ends up there. And what I would do is pin these down because it does tend to be a little slippery. And then you're gonna stitch it down with a quarter inch seam allowance. Now you can just open this up so that it's not in the way, like that, okay? I use my quarter inch foot. If you have a zipper foot, if you're more comfortable doing that, use your zipper foot. But all you're gonna do is put your foot on there and stitch it right down, going that way, like that. Once you do that, you're gonna open it up and just press it. Okay, so that's step one. The next step is going to be adding this piece. Yeah, I have it here, okay. The next step is to add this little flap that ends up covering the zipper to the zipper tape. So what you're gonna do is just close the zipper up. This, this little flap, I forgot to tell you, I'm sorry. This little flap is two and a half inches wide by the width. You're gonna fold it in half and iron it. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna stitch that down on there, like so. What I recommend doing is using this Wonder Tape, which is also on the order form. This is $5. Wonder Tape, and maybe if you guys have taken classes way back when we had classes, I might've showed you how to use this to put a zipper in. So Wonder Tape has like a, it's sticky here. It's double-sided tape. It's sticky here and this top is a um, little plastic covering. You are just gonna place it down on your zipper tape like this going down the whole thing right at the edge. All the way to the end, okay? And you're gonna snip it off. Okay. And then make sure that you just, it's not sticky yet because I still have the covering on it. And then what you're gonna do is release it and because everyone's watching, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Okay, okay. So you release it, you pull this off to expose the sticky side. Okay, can you all see that? Then what you're gonna do, and I found it easier to unzip this, is you're gonna take this piece, which you folded in half, pressed, and you're just going to... Wrong sides together. Wrong side, right, you wrong sides together, yes. You press it wrong sides together. Did I need to say that? I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. I shouldn't assume things. And you're gonna stick that down right, ah, it's sticking to me. Stick it down right on top of that tape. Now that tape is gonna hold the bottom layer in place, but the top layer could still move around. So I do recommend that once you have it stuck down in place, that you just pin a little so that as you're sewing, as you're going down sewing, it doesn't slip and slide on you. You're gonna go back to your sewing machine and with your quarter inch foot or your zipper foot, you're gonna stitch down the whole thing a quarter of an inch away. So that brings you to, let's see, where am I? Okay. So that brings you to this, where you have it all in place, under here. So then the next thing you're gonna do is take the top piece and put it on here. And guys, don't, don't skimp on the pinning because you're, you're stitching on top of a, a zipper and two layers here and a layer here, pin. 
this is this is not time to show your sewing chops and not do pinning. You really want to pin here. You're gonna go down the whole thing, pin it in place, and once again stitch along that quarter inch. So that when you get to here, once you do that, you're gonna open it up, press like so, and then the very last thing you're gonna do is at each end, say within the within the quarter inch seam allowance, so an eighth of an inch away, you're going to stitch here to hold this down, and then you're going to stitch here to hold it down, and then you can cut off the excess zipper tape, and you have your back ready to go on your zipper. It's really a great technique. And again, it doesn't really matter what color zipper you're using, because you're not going to see it. You're not going to see it. It really works great. I love this. So again, you can, the, the cutting directions are for an eight, 18 inch pillow, but I, it seems to be that the ratio is you cut this top part one third of the overall size of the pillow back and that'll work. Um, but I would stick to the two and a half inches here to be sure to cover the zipper. Um, so the other one more thing that she shows you, I don't know if you could tell, like the these.